But I'm thinking these next few vlogs, I want to be a little more introspective, maybe give you something, offer you something a little different. And I don't know how I'm going to do it. You know, I think my vlogs, my vlogs lack something. They lack that personal, deep, deep thought, you know. Maybe I need something different to offer you guys. You spend time with me in real life, and in real life, over time, you start to see like certain truths come out. And I don't know why I am the way I am. My homeboy, Pretty B.I., always he's like, yo, it's a bunch of riddles with you. It's always a riddle, it's always a riddle, it's always a riddle, and there's no riddle to it. I think I already do spell things out for people. It's just, I don't know why nobody understands. And what more do you want me to say? But I want to do better at giving you guys more introspective, I guess. I don't even know if it's thought-provoking. I don't know if Colin Let's Get Seats can give you thought-provoking anything. What can I tell you, right? All I could do is show you what I, my life is like. I can't tell you anything. I don't want to tell you anything. I don't want to try to change your ways of thinking to mine. I'm not an egoist like that. I don't need to do that. I trust that you guys make your own decisions in life and you could look at other people's lives and have different perspective. That's the reason probably why my views are down because I'm not selling you anything. I don't wanna sell you anything. Or that just doesn't jive with getting views because maybe it's boring or I don't know. Throughout the years, I've had many friends. A lot of people came, a lot of people went. I had family members fall in and fall out. And, you know, what you gonna do? You, you know, being yourself is the only opportunity in life you have to make some, to, to feel good about yourself. Other than that, you're just serving people. And, you know, can't make everybody happy it's just impossible everybody's always going to want to serve themselves they're looking at you to see how you serve sorry everyone's looking at you to see how they how you can serve them and you know at, w at what point do you just say you know i just don't want to serve anyone that's what these vlogs are about it's not me serving servicing anybody but myself because i feel like i deserve it and because of that, I have more confident, more, I had confidence before, but I have more authority to own the room or own myself because I'm that confident, that much more confident because I'm doing these self-serving vlogs. It's not for everybody. These vlogs are for people who, quite frankly, are confident or want to just be confident and just being comfortable in their own skin. And they want to see somebody else who's actually comfortable in their own skin. I've been in, you know, I'm from New York. You know, I've lived many places in this world. I've, I've met a lot of people. And when it comes down to it, people, if you're a leader, people aren't going to like you. Okay, this is just the truth. They're going to find ways to pick apart your personality. They're going to find ways to try to demean you behind your back or even in front of your face to see how you react. It's, it's just people, this is a human nature. Everyone is looking for a leader. It's always been this way since the beginning of time. I mean, since since I was a little boy playing basketball, it's always the 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 person that's most dominant, the person that you know that that takes control of the situation is the person that everyone looks to, and that's also the person. It's so funny that people give away their power to somebody, but at the same time they resent it. They resent giving their power away to somebody instead of embracing the fact that they're learning from that person or embracing the fact that maybe they're just underlings for now and tomorrow they're tomorrow's leaders because they've learned what they have to learn. I mean, to this day, I'm still facing these issues. There's people just mad, just mad. People just mad. For what? You know why? They're not living their own life. 
They're too busy looking at other people, wanting what other people have. They're really not any leaders. There's really no leaders. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, I look at people, of course, we all follow. That's our nature. But as far as leaders, meaning like thought leaders, people who actually take control of their life and, and use life for what it is, it's, it's ridiculous. In my opinion, there's only really one reason why this even exists is that everybody, and this might be a little controversial, but controversial, but I feel like everybody wants to be closest to God. I feel like everybody wants to be the one that's like, God chose me to be blessed. You know, whether it's like money, money is like a way to show like God has blessed me with the spoils of the earth or everything that humans make, I can own because I'm the closest to God. Whether you believe me or not, it's just what I feel. People go to great lengths to prove that they're special, that who are you special for? What is it to, to what is it to you? You know, it's, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. The point is, I had, or I'm having a moment of truth with myself. And I haven't been vlogging or anything. I've just been gathering life experiences. That's all this is. But what's really happening is I'm growing. And I'm growing apart from people who I've loved since my whole life. I'm not better than anyone and no one's better than me. It's just I'm at a different place in life where I no longer need to hear certain things that I've been hearing my whole life because they're not helping me on my trajectory to where I'm going. And a lot of people I feel are at odds with that. I'm, I'm struggling with relationships because it's so easy to follow the crowd, but it's so hard or people can't even fathom what it's like to follow your own intuition or your own own way of wanting to go about life and i no longer want to follow anybody i i i want to curate life to a way where i'm pleased with everything that i've put together from other people and from myself and uh, you know i no longer share the same vision and with people that i i you know really take dear to my heart and vice versa I've I've been growing apart from people who I've grown up with and I've learned to love throughout the years because we don't share the same vision anymore. And that's all right. You know, what used to work yesterday for me does not work for me anymore. And I'm moving on. And and that's where I'm at in life. And it's 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 sad because there's i I'm going to somewhere I've never been before. I've never, you know, been on my own as far as, you know, it's lo I'm lonely, okay? I'm very lonely. And everyone has issues with me. And, you know, maybe it's just the way I go about life, but I never pictured having issues with anybody I love and care about. And I'm just growing apart from everyone in a good way. I'm, I'm, I'm really curating life the way that I see fit. And I have to die with myself. and can't take anybody else with me and that's what's happening with me i stick to youtube it's like tv 